Bring out your arts and crafts side and learn how to make these four fun cookies in a jar recipes. These make great gifts to give during the holidays or any other time of the year. I've also provided printable recipe cards in the video description below with instructions for the recipient to know the wet ingredients to add and how to bake these cookies. Welcome back, or if you're new here, my name is Kate and this is Bake That. All four recipes seen in this video will be for one quart jars, which you can buy or use jars that you already have. See the video description below for the jars that I am using. Make sure the jars are washed and dry before adding any ingredients. In a large bowl, add all-purpose flour, baking powder, baking soda, and salt. Whisk these ingredients together until all the ingredients are combined. Start adding the flour mixture a little at a time to the jar. Feel free to use a canning funnel for these recipes to make adding the ingredients much easier. Once all the flour mixture is added, use a spoon and create an even layer. Then use a small measuring cup or something similar to pack down the flour mixture. Add the brown sugar and evenly distribute it around the jar. Pack the brown sugar down as much as possible. Now add the granulated sugar and make sure it is evenly distributed around the jar. Pack down the granulated sugar as much as possible. Add in the chocolate chips. Feel free to use a mixture of chocolate chips. And then add some M&Ms. If the M&Ms do not fill to the top of the jar, top it off with a little extra to use for decorating. Place the lid on the jar and make sure it is tightly sealed. In a large bowl, add all-purpose flour, ground cinnamon, ground nutmeg, baking soda, and salt. Whisk these ingredients together until combined. Carefully add the flour mixture to the jar. Use a spoon and create an even layer. Pack down the flour mixture as much as possible since there are still a lot of other ingredients that still need to be added. Add the old-fashioned oats to the jar. Start adding the raisins to the jar. Pack the raisins down into the jar to create an even layer. Add brown sugar to the jar and pack down as much as possible. Make sure to fill in any gaps around the edges. Carefully add the granulated sugar. Place the lid on top of the jar and seal tightly. In a small bowl, add all-purpose flour, salt, and baking soda. Whisk together until all the ingredients are combined and move the bowl aside. In a separate bowl, combine milk cocoa powder, special dark cocoa powder, and black cocoa powder. Whisk these ingredients together until all the cocoa powders are thoroughly combined. Start adding the flour mixture to the jar. Use a spoon and create an even layer of the flour mixture. 
Try to pack down the flour mixture as much as possible. Now start adding the cocoa powder mixture to the jar. Press the cocoa powder mixture down to create an even layer and make sure the cocoa powder is pressed firmly up against the sides. Add in the granulated sugar. Try to press down the granulated sugar as much as possible. And then add in chocolate chips. Place the lid on the jar and seal tightly. Add all-purpose flour, granulated sugar, baking powder, baking soda, and salt to a large bowl. Whisk these ingredients together until combined. Start adding the ingredients to the jar, stopping as needed to pack the mixture down. Continue filling the jar with the mixture until it reaches the top. Since the sugar cookie mixture does not have any layers, I love adding a cookie cutter or a pack of sprinkles to these to give them a better appearance. Place the lid on top of the jar and seal tightly. You can always make a batch of these cookies before giving the cookie in a jar recipe as a gift as a sample of how the cookie will taste. And don't forget to make sure to attach a recipe card when giving these cookies in a jar recipe to someone so they know what to add and how to make these cookies. Thank you so much for watching. Come back next week to bake more good things.